Hey guys, Double Wide Six here, and today I'm talking a little bit about a uh, Dixon Zero Turn. The uh, lawnmower is actually a Speed ZTR 36, and I think that's actually pronounced Speedster. And overall, it's a pretty good looking mower. Um, it's a residential mower, but it has a lot of the features that commercial mowers have. So this video, since these aren't that common, I was just going to go through um, what this mower actually comes with and uh, some of its features. Alright, right off the bat, uh, I like the fact that the uh, machine is on a steel frame. It's uh, 2 inch by 1.5 steel tubing uh, going throughout and that's pretty much the chassis for uh, the mower. Another thing that I like is the uh, deck where you put your feet has these holes and the reason for those holes is uh, basically for gripping with your feet. Um, some mowers use uh, grip tape kind of like that on the foot pedal there and um, eventually over time that'll start peeling from the heat from the sun so the nice thing about that metal decking is that it uh, it will lose some paint but it'll always grip your feet well and it looks pretty good even if it does end up losing paint um, one of the things about this mower that I found I, I see this with all the Dixon mowers it's that the uh, sticks coming up are relatively thin I use uh, a Toro Z Master and uh, the handles um, they aren't quite double as thick but they're uh, definitely more substantial so I'm just kinda used to that thicker feel. Uh, another thing that Dixon does, I don't know if any other manufacturers do this but they give a cloth seat rather than a vinyl seat and um, this is pretty nice particularly in the sun I don't think it looks as nice as vinyl but uh, this is actually I believe the same seat that they use on some of their more expensive models that they sell and it has the uh, hand rests and they go up and down another feature that's really nice about this mower is and this is mainly why I bought this one is because it has the uh, fabricated deck so uh, this has 11 gauge steel fabricated deck and I was also you're, you can remove the grass deflector just by pulling a pin which is kind of nice and since I do my own cutting I uh, remove the deflector and um, I'll give you an idea the deflector is actually right here and that's what that looks like and you can see the pin that you pull all right, so moving on. Um, another thing that they did right is they put all the controls uh, on the right-hand side of the machine, which is good. This is our discharge side, and our cutting edge is over here. And if we do take a look, um, that round part of the deck sticks out past the wheel, so that gives you a little bit of a cutting edge for going around uh, mulch and things like that and beds um, so that's always a nice feature I know I have a gravely that the wheels are exactly the same width as the deck and it makes it hard to trim edges close to beds another thing that some of the larger manufacturers are getting away from uh, is actually metal belt guards so this has a metal pulley protector here and um, another thing that I like about the Dixon is uh, it has a cast iron spindle and you can see the grease zerk is right there that you can get to from the top and like your more expensive mowers it has the bolt coming all the way through the top so if you don't have an impact to take the nut off the bottom you can always put a wrench up here rather than a block of wood to stop the blade from spinning this mower, being a small deck like this, actually has two blades that turn. And we'll take a look under this flap. Let me loosen it up. 
So the flap comes up just like that and that gives you access to your blades and uh, you can do some adjustments down here. It also shows you how the belt is routed. It does take a 5 8 inch V belt <coughs> and this one's actually Kevlar and um, that's a real nice belt if you consider this machine residential. So for adjusting the deck they give you this nice heavy foot pedal and you can step down here there's no hand lever and you bring this down and release it till you get it to the right level and you'll notice it kind of has these teeth in it you can actually lock this thing in at different increments so if you're going around say where there's some metal landscape edging if you want to lift the deck a little bit uh, you can just pop that up and a lot of times when I'm mowing if I know there's kind of an obstacle like a pipe coming out of the ground and you're just not sure how close your blades are you can just step on that pedal and easily lift the deck when you're cutting the spindles on this machine are about three-eighths of an inch thick they have grease zerks here and the wheels they also have grease zerks on them and bearings in there so they're pretty good wheels and another thing that I didn't mention on the deck like your uh, commercial machines this has a at least a quarter inch maybe uh, uh, five sixteenths of an inch thick steel plate across the front of the deck another feature for such a small deck is a nice roller wheel and you can see that that's very heavy duty and that that really keeps you from scalping the ground when you're going over hills so that's nice I believe the fuel tank on this machine it's a one-sided fuel tank and it holds I believe four gallons maybe four and a half I'm not sure um, it does have the nice wider lid which makes it easier to fill up for sure and also with these new uh, gas containers with all the EPA regulation about hydrocarbons leaving um, it's hard to pour those things because they have like they don't vent really and they have these weird nozzles on them so a lot of times I take the nozzle off and I can just pour the can right in there uh, one of the things that this machine is missing is an hour meter it does not come with an hour meter so uh, I'm not quite sure why they do that it must be to save a little bit of money but without an hour meter it's uh, it's hard to know how many hours you're using if you're maintaining this if you just mow one yard a season then it's not so bad but if you're using this thing to do a bunch of little residential properties it's, it's hard to keep track of your hours the uh, engine on this thing it's just a single cylinder Briggs. I think it's like a 500 cc, 16 and a half horsepower single cylinder Briggs. Um, the disadvantage of the single cylinder compared to like a twin is it's louder. Okay. And another thing that I noticed right away when I ran this mower is it was particularly loud just because the muffler is up here and on most zero turns the uh, mufflers down below so um, that's one disadvantage to this particular layout but anyhow this engine is used in tons of tractors and for an engine replacement job it doesn't get much easier than this so this would do an engine swap really easy and even if you blew this engine um, you know it shouldn't cost you much more than five six hundred dollars to get a, a brand new one and stick it on this engine also uh, has the oil filter so uh, should hold up these engines are known for uh, head gaskets getting blown and if you ever are using a Briggs engine you're starting to smell oil then uh, it's time to pop off the head and look at your head gasket and if you remove your head you're gonna have to replace that gasket so order a new one first another dead giveaway that your head blasket head gasket is blown is when you remove your oil dipstick after the engines hot 
if you see any exhaust or combustion fumes coming out of there that's a pretty good sign that uh, your exhaust is getting into your crankcase and that shouldn't be happening if you have a good head gasket the uh, the way this thing handles it drives really nice uh, it's it's a little bit faster than uh, some of the other a little bit bigger residential mowers um, I think it has a top speed of about seven and uh, it goes in reverse it doesn't shut off when you go in reverse so uh, I do like the speed of it and I really like the maneuverability the uh, system that this uses it doesn't have um, separate uh, hydraulic system where you have pumps and motors um, I think it has like the same system as the John Deere's like the 225 and uh, 450 it has these uh, I believe they're called hydro gear transmissions and uh, I've, I've seen these on a lot of machines. The nice thing about them is that they're completely maintenance free and you know they should hold up for a thousand to fifteen hundred hours if uh, not abused. So that's just a little look around the Dixon. Um, not really a real common lawnmower around here but uh, you know these guys they actually started making zero turn mo mowers like in ooh, I think 1973 or 74 um, they used to make their their first zero turn mower look half like a lawn mower half like a golf cart and uh, instead of using hydraulic motors and pumps they actually had a mechanical system to drive the wheels and they continued with that mechanical system for years but they actually had the first zero turn and now all their lawn mowers are uh, using hydraulic pumps and uh, motors just you know like the standard but these guys make a, a, a good lawn mower um, some of the earlier ones in the 80s and the 90s they made stamp decks but uh, now uh, their mowers pretty much use uh, fabricated decks and they're pretty well built and uh, they're meant to last so as a homeowner uh, this is a very good little zero turn uh, I'm not quite sure what the price is I think I think this thing's a little bit more than 300 or it might be like 3300 or something like that new um, so anyhow you can you can check out Dixon so overall I really do like this mower I got it basically because it has a really small footprint so that makes it easy to store or fit on a trailer with another mower it drives really fast compared to like a 36 inch walk behind mower it can get in basically any gate and uh, this thing's built pretty tough I would say it is not as solid as my Gravely, but my Gravely, <clears throat> uh, when I drive that thing, if the ground's at all wet, it'll uh, dig, it'll uh, trench up the yards a little bit, and you can see it leaves tracks. And uh, this mower does not do that, so that's like one of the real main advantages for me. And it can also fit between gates that. Uh, my gravely could not so um, overall it's a, it's a really nice machine um, I think what I'm gonna do at the bottom of this video is um, I'm gonna actually put a link to the fusion blades I have these on my gravely and they're a blade that's actually designed to stay like sharper longer they're nice blades they hold up well they really hold your edge and uh, you can uh, keep them longer between sharpenings so I'll put a link to that in the description and you can get low lift or high lift uh, this machine actually has it feels like a high lift blade on there so uh, they're they're pretty good blades and I'll put a link to that and uh, as always thanks for watching and um, hopefully you guys 
learned a little bit about Dixon. I didn't know too much about him. And uh, any of you viewers that know some things about Dixon, or if they're more popular in your area, um, please let us know in the comment section. So, as always, thanks for watching, and click on the description in the link. Thank you.